Puppy gets returned for 11th time to shelter, then staff realizes what's going on. The process of adopting a dog is never an easy one. People would think that it is, but it involves a great deal of responsibility, particularly if the animal that is going to be adopted has been through some difficult times in its life in the past. But even through the hardships, it turns out some of the most rewarding pets to have are the ones that were hardest to raise. Nobody understood why Benji kept getting returned to the shelter after being adopted. It had been 11 times by now and all his owners just kept giving obviously fake and weak excuses. Only when the new trainee decided to take Benji home with her did they find out what was actually wrong with Benji. And nobody at the shelter could have predicted this. Returning Benji again. Benji was a mixed breed, and no one knew for certain which breed he belonged to. He was a combination of Labrador Retrievers and Golden Retrievers, with a little bit of Asian Village dog thrown in for good measure. He was a pretty good boy while he was at the shelter, however, he just can't seem to stay with one family for any length of time. As Stacy made her way back to the shelter, she was under the influence of the event and was visibly shaken. Benji was dozing off in the backseat of the car. Stacy was overcome with guilt because she had been so confident that she could assist this poor dog. But now he needed to be taken back to the shelter for the twelfth time. But at least they understood why it happened. Disappointment at the shelter When a dog is taken back to the shelter, it is never a pleasant experience for anyone involved. It is already challenging enough for a shelter when their hopes are finally realized when a dog is adopted, only for the dog to be returned at a later time. And to think that Benji has been sent back a total of 12 times already. Stacy had made some prior arrangements, so when she and Benji arrived, there were already three other employees waiting for them. They were obviously disheartened that the adoption had not been successful, but in addition to that, they were extremely curious as to the reason for it because now they would finally get an answer that was honest. The real reason. The thing about adoptions is that there is usually no need to provide an explanation for returning them. Simply making a phone call to the adoption center and stating that you want to return the dog that you adopted is all that is required. The center is obligated to pick up the dog and take him back, and they cannot ask any questions about the situation. Benji had been brought back to the shelter a total of 11 times, each time with a different justification, but they were confident that Stacy would tell them the truth. They would soon realize, however, that they were not prepared to face the truth. The question then is why Benji was brought back to the shelter 11 times. What was wrong with this poor dog, and was there anything that could be done to help it? 1. 5 years at the shelter When a dog stays at a shelter for a longer period of time, it is better able to adjust to the environment it is in. On the other hand, that is not necessarily a positive thing. A dog that is in a shelter does not get much opportunity to interact with other dogs because it is typically confined to a separate cell from the other dogs. Benji had been a resident of the animal shelter for approximately one and a half years at this point. Everyone who came to the Shetler to pick immediately fell in love with him and wanted to take him home, despite the fact that he was barely a puppy anymore and still very much looked like one. The question is, therefore, why was poor Benji still here? Being adopted a lot. When it comes to finding new homes, certain dogs have more success than others. Benji was especially fortunate because he had a face that was always adorable, and he was still a young boy. Adopting a puppy is a decision that can be made more quickly than with other animals, primarily because, well, they're puppies and they're cute. The reality is that during those one and a half years, Benji did not spend nearly as much time as some might assume in a shelter. If you were there, it would take someone a maximum of two weeks to adopt him if you were available for adoption. The problem, however, was that the people who had adopted him kept giving him back to his previous family. No good reason. This was already going on when he was brought into the shelter for the very first time when he was a puppy of only three weeks old. His previous family had a dog that had successfully given birth to five sound offspring. But for some inexplicable reason, they chose to keep four of them, and without so much as an explanation, they gave the remaining one, Benji, to the shelter. At the time, there were some raised eyebrows at the shelter, so they decided to have their on-call veterinarian perform a thorough examination on Benji. When the results of all of the tests indicated that there appeared to be nothing wrong with the puppy, the shelter simply came to the conclusion that he most likely just got unlucky and ended up here. A seemingly perfect family. On the same day, they put him up for adoption, and by the morning of the following day, someone had already come in to adopt him. People who saw Benji understood that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity because it was not common for a shelter to have puppies available for adoption, because most of the dogs that were brought in were older. It appeared as though he was going to join an absolutely ideal family. A recently wed young couple with a daughter of five years old who is desperate to get a puppy. Since the mother also worked from home, there was always someone present to pay attention to Benji whenever he needed it. No one at the animal shelter anticipated that they would ever see Benjio again. Strange reasons. But this would not turn out to be the case whatsoever. It only took three weeks before Benji was returned to the shelter by his new owners. The father had come alone with a happy and excited Benji following behind him. He had obviously bonded with the men and had no idea it would be the last time he would see him. Despite the initial optimism, Benji's return left the shelter staff heartbroken. They quickly realized that Benji's journey to find a forever home was going to be more challenging than they had ever imagined. 
The men only provided a hazy explanation for why they were returning Benji, which was clearly an excuse. Something about that was just not working out, possibly due to the fact that it was ongoing for an excessive amount of time. Given the information that the shelter had about the family, it was completely inexplicable. The shelter staff, perplexed by the vague reasoning, couldn't help but wonder if there was more to the story. It kept happening. However, the Shetler made the decision not to ask an excessive amount of questions at that time. If Benji's family was not going to take care of him, the dog would have been better off living with someone else. And they were certain that he would quickly find a new owner who would adore him to the fullest extent possible. This could not have been more than a freak accident, right? It turned out that this whole thing was completely unremarkable. For some reason it just kept happening. Benij was adopted multiple times, but he was always returned to the shelter after a short period of time. And each time, he was adopted again in less than two weeks. It was a cycle that just confused Benji. Where is his fear of her home? It didn't make sense. The animal shelter had never encountered anything remotely similar to this in the past, and its employees were at a loss to explain why it was occurring. The reasons that were always given for returning the poor puppy just seemed to be too superficial and feeble. And because they varied so greatly from one another, at least some of them had to be fabrications. Others claimed that Benji had way too much energy, while others claimed that he wouldn't even get out of bed. Some people said that Benji had way too much energy. Some people claimed that he was hostile toward other dogs, while others claimed that he avoided going to the park because he was so afraid of the other dogs there. It just didn't make any sense. Benji was obviously hurt. The animal shelter was at a loss for what else to do with Benji, so they decided to put him up for adoption once more. They were unable to simply keep him at the shelter for the rest of his life. This poor dog needed to find a home where he could stay for the rest of his life, but after he was returned for the eleventh time, nobody had any hope that he would ever find one. It was also plain to see that the puppy that everyone at the shelter had grown to care for so deeply was beginning to show the effects of being subjected to this never-ending cycle of misery. They were able to plainly see that the sparkle that used to shine in his eyes became noticeably dimmer each time he was placed back inside of that case. It broke my heart to see. New trainee Stacy. Benji was at this point doing nothing more than hunching over in one of the corners of his cage. His eleventh owner had finally provided the shelter with a reason for his return that the shelter believed to be true. That Benji just generally appeared to be unhappy and to have a lack of trust in him was clear. They are completely capable of believing that. Everyone who worked at the shelter simply had the impression that they needed to find a solution to this issue. They all cared so much about the dog, and fortunately for them, the answer came from a trainee named Stacy who had been with them for only about two weeks at the time. Was she the guardian angel Benji has been waiting for? Stacy's arrival at the shelter proved to be a turning point in Benji's life. Her determination, compassion, and fresh perspective offered a glimmer of hope for the troubled dog wanting to adopt him. She was training while pursuing a degree in veterinary medicine. During that period of time, she volunteered at the homeless shelter. It was the first time she saw Benji, and as soon as she did, she fell hopelessly in love with him. Benji's most recent owner had returned him to her, and that was the moment she first saw him. Her heart swelled with determination to give Benji the loving home he deserved. With her veterinary expertise and deep affection for the little dog, she was convinced that together, they could overcome any challenges that lay ahead. Even though she had only seen Benji in his very depressed state, the staff members who had been at the shelter for a longer period of time told her all about how entertaining Benji had been in the past. In addition to that, they disclosed the fact that Benji had been sent back 11 times for a variety of reasons. Despite Benji's troubled past and the challenges he presented, the young veterinarian was undeterred. The tales of Benji's past escapades at the shelter painted a picture of resilience and a quirky personality, convincing the parents. Stacy, however, was not deterred in the least by this. The pain of their loss caused her to reflect on all of the moronic former owners who had surrendered Benji to the animal shelter. She was adamant about providing this dog with the happy and healthy life that it so obviously deserved. But she was completely oblivious to the ramifications of her actions at this point. She did still need to convince her parents about getting a dog as she was still living with them. She was afraid they wouldn't like the idea but to her surprise, they were actually completely up for it. Apparently, with the prospect of Stacy moving out soon they had actually already been thinking about getting a dog. Stacy's heart swelled with happiness as she realized that her family was just as eager to welcome a new four-legged member into their home as she was. Benji needed a lot of work. Stacy was able to bring Benji home with her on the same day because all of the necessary paperwork was completed and organized. Benji was going through the exact same motions for the twelfth time at this point in his life. When he was let out of the cage, he always gave the impression of being emotionless. For Benji, the repeated experiences of being adopted and returned had left him emotionally guarded and detached. The uncertainty of his future had taken a toll on him, and as he left the shelter with Stacy, his demeanor remained stoic. Benji refused to even make eye contact with Stacy during the drive back home. She was aware that there was a significant amount of work to be done in order to restore this poor dog's trust in people and help him become the joyful and contented dog that he had been in the past. 
Stacy was confident that she could pull it off, but she soon realized that her optimism was misplaced. The other dogs. When Stacy arrived with Benji at their house, her parents were all set to meet their new son-in-law and welcomed him into the family. Stacy's dad had already been to the pet store to pick up a fresh bed and bowl for the family's dog. They were all very excited to welcome a new member into their family and care for them. As Benji stepped into his new home, he was greeted with warmth, love, and the promise of a bright future. Stacy's family, along with their loyal dog, embraced him as part of their pack. Benji was not the family's first dog, so they already had a lot of the other equipment necessary for dogs at home when they got him. Already, there were three more of them walking around the house. Benji, however, was the smallest of the bunch due to his size. There was still an issue, and they were unable to put their finger on what was bothering them. But Benji was acting in a strange manner. Despite being the smallest, Benji's behavior was noticeably different from the other dogs. Benji was not the family's first dog, so they already had a lot of the other equipment necessary for dogs at home when they got him. Already, there were three more of them walking around the house. Benji, however, was the smallest of the bunch due to his size. There was still an issue, and they were unable to put their finger on what was bothering them. But Benji was acting in a strange manner. Despite being the smallest, Benji's behavior was noticeably different from the other dogs. However, the other dogs in the family were not as wary of their new companion. And as soon as they were allowed to come out of the other room, they immediately began investigating their new companion sniffing him like no tomorrow and one of them even brought Benji a toy. After that, Benji's attitude underwent a slight shift. Did he take pleasure in all of the attention? Play in the park. All the attention and interaction seemed to cool Benji's cool demeanor a bit, and he started to engage with the other dogs now. The family made sure to have the rest of the day dedicated to giving Benji the best time. That's all they could do in their eyes to give Benji the attention he deserved. He was a good boy, after all. Right. They went to the park, to the store to pick out a new toy, and even baked a nice steak for Benji. A day in doggy heaven and it had a big effect on Benji. He was wagging his tail all day. Stacy seemed to enjoy her time with Benji, just like the rest of the family. Benji seemed to like them as well. Would that feeling stay? The day of fun and bonding brought joy to both Benji and the family, creating a sense of hope that their connection would endure. Things chance. Within 24 hours, the family had already rehabilitated him to the exuberant puppy that he had been in the past, and they thought that they would have a wonderful new member of the family as a result. But if that's the case, then why does Benji keep getting called back? Was there something that they had not as of yet discovered? The subsequent couple of days were relatively uneventful in comparison. Benji appeared to have no trouble adjusting to the typical activities of the family. Stacy provided the shelter with all of the information, and they expressed their satisfaction with the progress made. But after that, things started to take a different turn. Benji suddenly disappeared without a trace, and no one could explain why. Search for Benji. When the family woke up one morning, Benji was suddenly not in bed anymore. They searched the whole house but there was no sign of him. Stacy started to panic. The shelter had trusted her with Benji and she let them down. What was going on? Did Benji run away or did something else happen? The sudden disappearance of Benji left the family in a state of turmoil and guilt. They scoured the neighborhood, posted flyers, and contacted local animal shelters in a frantic effort to locate their beloved canine companion. She made the decision to withhold the information from them and instead took a week off work in order to look for Benji. She began by inquiring with all of her neighbors to see if any of them had seen the puppy, but she was unsuccessful. Because Benji could not be located anywhere, it appeared as though he had vanished into thin air. This caused Stacy a great deal of emotional distress. Put up posters. Benji could not be found despite the fact that the morning had been spent looking for him and asking around. It appeared that nobody had seen him, so posting wanted posters was the next step that made sense to take. Stacy was simply keeping her fingers crossed that no one from the shelter would notice them. After everything that had happened, she did not want to disappoint them in any way. Two more days passed. Benji was still gone. The family had put up posters all over the place but had gotten zero response to it. They were coming to a point where Stacy felt like she had no choice but to be honest to the shelter. She finally decided she was ready to call. Then something else happened. Just as Stacy was about to make that call, a glimmer of hope appeared on the horizon. Perhaps, fate was about to intervene once again, bringing Benji back to them in an unexpected twist of events. Clueless. Then, the phone did finally start to ring. Someone had tracked him down and found him. The person who called didn't seem to want to reveal the specifics of where and how the problem occurred just yet, but he sounded very upset. Stacy was suddenly on the very edge of her seat, and she could feel the adrenaline coursing through her veins. What exactly was happening with Benji? Stacy arrived at the man's house feeling anxious and bewildered in equal measure. It was a distance of almost an hour's drive. How was it even possible for Benji to get this far away from home? She had no idea how Benji had managed to pull this off, but she was excited to see what she would run into nonetheless. As Stacy entered the man's home, a mix of emotions surged within her. The unexpected journey to retrieve Benji had raised many questions, but her heart was filled with anticipation at the prospect of reuniting with her beloved dog. 
Benji in a cage. When Stacy arrived home, the man who had found him was already standing at the front door, waiting for him. He gave off the impression of being very agitated while he stood there with his arms crossed. What the devil could Benji have possibly done? Stacy experienced some anxiety as the man did not appear to make any movements at all. The man didn't say much as he led Stacy inside, where he had a Benji who appeared to be in a very sad state locked up in a cage. Stacy wanted to get angry at the man for locking up this poor puppy, but then he started explaining what happened. Now Stacy is unable to get angry at the man. Everything was going to make sense very quickly. As the man shared the details of the incident and Benji's behavior, Stacy's initial frustration gave way to understanding. She realized that the man had taken precautionary measures to ensure the safety of both Benji and his cat, and his intentions were rooted in care and concern. Well behaved. It would appear that Benji had showed up earlier on that day. The man had not seen any of the posters, so he searched the area for Benji's owner. When he was unsuccessful in his search, he planned to call the animal shelter because Benji was still wearing a collar with their number on it. What a find. Relief washed over the family when they received the call from the man who had found Benji. Their anxiety turned to gratitude as they hurried to reunite with their beloved dog. At the time, he was just walking around the house with Benji, and he was under the impression that he was dealing with a well-mannered puppy. However, just then, his own cat arrived to see what was going on and investigate. Stacy already had a hunch about what Benji might have been planning to do. Stacy's intuition about Benji's behavior was spot on. As the cat entered the scene, it became clear that Benji's past aggression towards cats was still a concern called the shelter. Benji had a sudden change of heart at that precise moment, and he attacked the man's cat. Benji was about to hurt the cat, but the man reacted in the nick of time to stop him and grab the dog instead, giving the cat the opportunity to escape. After what happened, the man wasted no time in putting Benji in his cat cage. The incident left everyone shaken, and it was clear that Benji's past trauma and anxiety had resurfaced in a dangerous way. He believed that this was the only way to guarantee the safety of both his cat and Benji at the same time. He then called the shelter and explained exactly what had happened. After describing the dog, the shelter told him that he needed to call Stacy as she would come to pick him up and that is what happened. Luckily Benji was not hurt. The incident was a frightening reminder of the importance of vigilance when introducing pets with different backgrounds and behaviors. Stacy rushed to the man's house to retrieve Benji, relieved that he was unharmed, calling previous owners. When Stacy checked her phone, she discovered that she had not answered a number of calls from the homeless shelter. It was no longer practicable to keep this information a secret. She took Benji, who was in a terrible mood, from the man and apologized profusely to him. She had the impression that she needed to defend herself to the shelter. After that, she returned to the shelter along with Benji. Stacy found out when she arrived that the other employees had already called a number of the previous owners of Benji to inquire as to whether or not they had any experiences with Benji that were comparable to her own. The outcomes of these calls provided enlightening insights. The stories shared by Benji's previous owners painted a picture of resilience and transformation the right choice. Every single one of the previous owners they contacted told them the same story. The actual reason they returned Benji was that he attacked another animal at some point. This made a whole lot of things clear, they finally had a good picture of Benji. What caused this behavior towards other animals? With this revelation, the pieces of Benji's troubled past began to fall into place. It became evident that Benji's aggressive behavior towards other animals was a recurring issue that had haunted him through each failed adoption. They had told a lie about it because they were worried that if they told the truth, Benji would be killed. Therefore, they lied about it. They all loved that dog way too much for it to even cross their minds to do something like that. However, in order to reduce the likelihood of it happening again while he was in their care, they all took him back to the shelter. Back to the shelter. Now, under typical conditions, Benji would have been classified as a dangerous animal, and, as a result, would have been put down. However, Stacy and the shelter were not going to allow that to take place. Now that they had more information, they were finally able to make better decisions. They were also aware that they were in a position to assist Benji. Benji was going to spend a couple of weeks at the shelter, where they planned to work on increasing his level of trust in cats during his time there. They were brought together in a safe environment one at a time and gradually introduced to Benji. The animal shelter was adamant in their efforts, despite the fact that Benji initially did not want to cooperate with them. Was the investment worthwhile? Forever home. It was a difficult process but eventually, all the aggression Benji had towards cats was coached out of him and he was given back into the care of Stacy and her family. They were very glad that they got Benji back, he was the dog they always wanted. They gave Benji a lot of love. He thanked them for it. Benji's transformation was a heartwarming testament to the power of patience and compassion. From that point forward, they were completely problem-free with their new dog at any point in time. Stacy had always anticipated that he would become a member of their family and he did so. Benji had at long last located the house that would be his forever home. Benji did not require any more kennels at that time because he already had everything. With Benji's integration into their family, the once troubled dog found not just a forever home but also a loving and stable environment. 
His days of uncertainty and anxiety were replaced with moments of joy and contentment.